Now obviously before you set up your snare drum, you'll need to set up the snare drum stand. If you're not sure which one the snare drum stand is, you're looking for a stand which has three claws which are used to, to claw the, uh, the snare drum itself and hold it in place. So on one side you'll have the legs, which are quite easy to identify, and then the other, sti other side you'll have like a, a basket with claws which holds the, the drum together. Um, when you set up the base of your stand, try not to have it so the legs are too upright, because this might happen and it will fall over, it's not very stable. So have it nice and wide, but not too wide that you're using up all of your floor space. And then you're going to open the claws so you're sure that the snare drum will fit there. You're then going to grab your snare drum and place it in the snare drum basket. And then you're going to want to tighten the basket to hold the snare drum securely in place. Because the last thing you want is, while playing a gig, the snare drum to, um, to fall away. So have it fairly tight and secure, and then you're good to go. The next important thing to remember with the snare drum is it's the drum that you're probably going to be using most frequently. So it needs to be comfortable. You need to be able to hit the snare drum all over its surface, okay? So if you have your snare drum too tilted towards you, you're not going to be able to do this, or a rim shot, which is this sound. You'll be restricted as to what, which sounds you can make. So have it so it's fairly flat, and that you can quite comfortably reach all around the drum. Once you've set up your snare drum, that can be your reference for the rest of the drum kit. So try and ensure that between your snare drum and your high tom, there's not too much of a gap and that you've got enough space in between the snare drum and the low tom to fit your leg in. So the snare drum should be between your legs and remember that your right leg, if you're right handed, will be on the bass drum pedal. Okay, so it'll be snare drum, high tom above, Loads on the other side of your leg. Obviously, like I said before, if you're left-handed, you'll be hitting the bass drum with your left foot. The snare drum will still be between your legs, but to the left side of your left leg, you'll have the low tom over here. Okay. Um, I set up this drum kit starting with the bass drum, and then I went around the toms first. But it might be an idea if you wanted to start with the snare drum instead, um, if you wanted to find which height is comfortable for you, then you might want to do that. So start with the snare drum and then move round the drum kit.